Hi friends, it's Heather. It's about time we make the rest of my renaissance fair costume. Last week we made the dress part. This week we are going to be making the skirt. This is going to be the final piece of my costume. I initially thought that I was also going to be making a corset until I realized how difficult it actually is. I think it's a little bit above my skill level right now. Maybe next year we'll be able to make a corset. But yeah, so we are just going to be making a simple circle skirt. I feel like for you to get a better understanding of what we're doing here, you might want to check out my last video first. But otherwise, here is some fabric that I thrifted today from the good old Will. Nothing fancy or anything like that, just in case we mess up. It is pretty thick fabric. You can't see through it. I also really like this color. Um, I don't know, I feel like pink hair fits most things, but I, I like the pink with the blue. Cool. So that's the fabric. Now we're just gonna jump in and go ahead and make it. We'll be starting off by folding the fabric in half. And so we have a fold side and a non-fold side. On the fold side from the center, I'm going to measure out four inches like this. And from the center, I'll keep moving the four inches along. And as I move around, I'll make dots. Then after I have a ton of dots, I'll go ahead and connect them all to make a quarter circle. All right, and that is pretty much it for the top part of the skirt. Now let's go ahead and move on to the bottom part of the skirt. We'll go ahead and measure out the length that we want. For me, my fabric is pretty short, and so I don't really have much option for the length. So I'll measure the center to the end, and that is about 28 inches. So we'll just go 28 inches along until we get to the fold side. And just like the top, we're gonna go ahead and connect those dots. And that is pretty much it for the outline. Should look a little something like this. Alrighty, so now that we have the outline drawn out, pretty much all we have to do is just cut it out. So here is what it looks like after you cut it out. I go ahead and double check just to make sure that it is the length and the size that I want. Looks good to me. And as you can see, this is only one half of the skirt. We're actually going to need two pieces. And now that we have our two pieces done, that is pretty much it for the skirt part. Now we have to do the waistband part. I like to have a thicker waistband, so I measure out four inches for the length. Remember to add one inch for seam allowance, by the way. For the width, let's go ahead and measure our waist. I'm going to measure where I want the skirt to fall. I want a little bit of a higher waist skirt, um, maybe a little bit under my belly button. I want it to also be like a little bit loose since we're putting in elastic. So I'm going to say 29 inches for that one. And you'll also be adding one inch for seam allowance as well on the width. So our waist strip is going to be 5 by 30. piece. So now that we have all the pieces cut out, all we have left to do is attach them together. I'm going to start off by sewing the skirt pieces together. I do this by facing the right sides together, pinning the sides, and then sewing along that. That way when we turn it inside out, all the seams and stuff are going to be on the inside. Awesome! It is now attached. Here's what we're looking like. Let's put it on just to see how big it is. Ooh. Oh no. I think we might have to cut the mouth opening a little bit more. I'm just gonna fold it into fourths like this and cut off an inch. So now it goes up and down my thighs really easily. Awesome, the skirt looks good. Now let's go ahead and attach the waist piece to the skirt. I'm gonna start by pinning this waist strip to the skirt, facing downward like this. That way when you flip it up, you don't see the seam anymore. To make sure that I'm attaching the waistband evenly, I go ahead and fold it in half and make a quick little mark on it like that. That way I know this is the halfway point. And so you'll go ahead and take one end of the waistband, attach it to this parting right here. And like I said, we're gonna be doing it like this. And then go ahead and clip all along this. And I make sure that the part that I marked 
matches up with this other seam right here. Alrighty, we got it all pinned up. Now we just need to sew it together. And once you're done sewing the waistband to the skirt, we're gonna go ahead and close up the seam at the end as well. Here's what the waistband looks like attached. It is now time for the elastic part. Let's go ahead and measure this out. That right here is dandy. And then we'll go ahead and just snip that. Cool. Ready, sweet. And now let's go ahead and sew this elastic together. Cool, elastic is attached. Now we go ahead and just slide this in to where our waistline is, like that. And then we go ahead and just fold this over with the elastic inside, and then we'll just sew it down. Cool, cool. So now the last thing we have to do is just hem the bottom, and then we'll go ahead and try it on. Let's go ahead and try it on. I have my dress from last time. Alrighty guys, here's how it turned out. What do you guys think? Does it give renaissance? A little bit, a little, little bit. I really like the color. Alrighty guys, thanks for joining me on another Renaissance Fair clothes making video. This is the final one. We made two. I hope that you guys like these and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!